Russian UGVs, unmanned ground vehicles, Soratnik and Neretra took part in military exercise outside of Moscow, practicing reconnaissance and fire support for Russian Army Mechanized Infantry Unit. The drones took part for the first time in operational drills with the Central Command of the Russian Ground Forces. At the Russian military exercise, the Nereta UGV was armed with a 12.7mm EV machine gun, while the Sorodnik UGV was armed with machine gun and anti-tank grenade launchers. Ukraine defense industry has demonstrated its new EGV unmanned ground vehicle Phantom during military exercise. Phantom is designed to perform reconnaissance mission but can be used also as ammunition carrier or to evacuate wounded soldiers. During this first demonstration, the Phantom EGV was armed with a 12.7mm EV machine gun. The Phantom EGV has an operation range of 20 km, the vehicle has a weight of 1000 kg with a payload of 350 kg. It can run at a maximum speed of 38 km per hour. India is ready to finalize a $660 million deal to purchase the mobile artillery system K9, a South Korean product manufactured by the company Samsung Techwin. The K9 will be manufactured in India by the company Larson & Tubro in partnership with Samsung Techwin to modify the audio visor for Indian condition under the name of K9 Vajera. The K9 Thunder is a South Korean self propellant 155mm visor developed by Samsung Techwin. The main armament consists of one 155mm 52 caliber ordnance with a maximum fire range of 40 km. Telest latest generation Spy Ranger Mini Surveillance and Reconnaissance Unmanned Aerial Vehicle has been chosen by the French Defense Procurement Agency DGA to equip the French forces. Up to 70 Mini UAVs reconnaissance system will be made available from 2018. Each system consists of three Mini UAVs, a ground segment and the associated technical support. Transportable in a backpack, Spy Ranger can perform observation missions over a period of 2 hours 30 minutes, covering a range of 30 km, a much larger surveillance area than those covered by systems currently in service. M270A1 is an upgraded version of the American-made M270 multiple launch rocket system designed and manufactured by the US company Lockheed Martin. The M270A1 carries and fires two launch pods, each containing either six rockets or one missile that can be fired individually or sequentially. The latest variant of the M270A1 uses a new improved armored cab to increase protection of the crew and the additions of mine protective seating. The main improvements of the M270A1 include an improved fire control system, the improved mechanical launch system and the extend range rockets system. L3 Westcam announced on January 3, 2016 that it has recently won defense contracts valued at more than 90 US million dollars. The orders will provide a range of MX series electro optical infrared imaging system to global customers operating in the airborne and maritime domains. Key contracts include system for the United States Air Force Special Operation Command, AC 130G Ghost Rider gunships and the United States Department of Homeland Security fleets of aircraft. In 
General Atomics Aeronautical System has been awarded a $56 million contract for the Spin MQ-9 Exportable Block 5 Remotely Piloted Aircraft Procurement Program according a statement for the U.S. Department of Defense of January 4, 2017. The MQ-9 Reaper is an attacked unmanned aerial vehicle used by the U.S. Air Force. It can be armed with bombs and air-to-surface laser-guided missiles. Compared to the MQ-9 Reaper Block 1 models, the Reaper Block 5 has an increased electrical power, secure communication, autoland, increased cost takeoff weight, weapon growth, and streamlined payload integration capabilities. The Svezdoshka shipyard of the United Shipbuilding Corporation handed over the Podmoskovye Special Purpose Nuclear Submarine of Project 09787 to the Russian Navy. According to the shipyard, the submarine went back to sea in October 2016. Factory and government test acceptance were held in November and December. The submarine made several sorties to check its systems and mechanisms. The test results confirmed compliance with the technical parameters of the project and the high quality of performance of the shipyard and contractors. This submarine was originally a Delta IV class SSBN of the Soviet Navy which was converted into a special mission submarine. It was in the yard for modernization since 1999. The missile compartment was cut out from the hull and replaced by a compartment to carry small submarines. It may also serve as a nuclear deep water station. The US Navy accepted its 50th P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft at the Naval Air Station Jacksonville in Florida today. The US Navy's Poseidon is replacing the legacy P-3 Orion and will improve an operator's ability to efficiently conduct anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. The P-8A program calls for a total requirement of 117 of the 737-based anti-submarine warfare jets. The P-8A has a planned state-of-the-art open architecture mission system and next-generation sensors. Leveraging the experience and technology of the successful P-3C Orion with the needs of the fleet, the P-8A Poseidon has significant growth potential with planned phased-in technological improvements that extend global reach, payload capacity and higher operating altitude. 